What's up YouTube, it's your boy Official Sheen back and today we got another video and this video is going to be on, let's get a drum roll. This video is going to be on tattoos in the Navy, aka the military. I'm going to be giving y'all some tips and I'm going to explain the policy on it and just my advice when it comes to tattoos in the Navy from my uh, part. Alright, so first off, just getting into the policy on it. Uh, you can have tats like everywhere on your body, right? You can have tats pretty much everywhere on your body, except for like you can't get, of course, you can't have like no face tats, neck tats. Like, really think with common sense. All right, look. So, no, well, I guess it ain't common for everybody, but look. So, for your neck tat, right? You can get like a neck tat like behind the ear or whatever, right? You get one. I see like a lot of people get like, get them like right here. So you get it behind the ear, but it only be an inch in diameter. So it's really, it's really not that big. And honestly, I feel like if you want to get a neck tattoo, uh, just wait till you get out or something like that. Uh, just so you could probably have more free like range with however uh, big you want it or the style or anything like that. And then of course, like no face tattoos, but your hands and arms and all that type of stuff is free game. Legs, everything else is uh, free game. So you really only have uh, limitations on your face and your neck. And uh, it seems like a lot of people in the military, like I joined the military with no tattoos at all. And now look at me like, you know, almost a whole sleeve, right? Almost a whole sleeve. Um, I still got a lot of stuff I want to add to my sleeve. For the most part, I feel like the military is pro tattoos. Like just, just from like, you know, like, the traditional like gung ho military, you know, you know, like the, especially like the navy, like like especially like the sailors, uh, you know, we was known for having like tattoos and like swallows and all that type of stuff. That's traditional tattoos. I don't have any navy tattoos, and I'm probably never gonna get no navy tattoos because navy has caused me a lot of pain, and so now I'm getting all that. But yeah, I just probably ain't gonna get it just because I just I don't know. We'll see. Oh, quick advice for y'all, please. All y'all that's about to go to boot camp and all that, when you get out of boot camp, please do not go get no Navy tattoo. Just just trust me on this, all right? Just trust me, do not. When you're in A school, you're in Pensacola, you're in Chicago, wherever you're at, please do not go get no tattoo fresh out of uh, boot camp because you really don't know what the military is like. You probably don't even, what if you don't like it and you just got this tattoo on your body, now you like, you feel stupid. So like, please just don't do that. Like, it was a guy in my A school, um, he and we was in A school, and he went and got somebody saluting with their dress blues on. In the background was an American flag, and I know I don't I don't even think he likes the military anymore. So it's like you know, like you just really got that all on you. I mean, I guess you could say it's telling the story. That's what everybody like to say when they get a, a stupid tattoo they regret. So I would really say wait at least two years. At least be two years in the Navy or in the military before you go get some military tattoo. Especially y'all that go out there and get like the chief anchors and all because you gotta make chief then. Like don't don't go get no chief anchors if you ain't gonna get if you ain't gonna make chief. You know what I mean? Don't be no four year dude with a mass chief on you. Like please don't be that guy. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all like what my tattoos mean, cause I know that's probably why y'all click the video, like y'all right, saying we don't really care about all that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But let me get to it. So, let me start off with my first tattoo. All right, so look, my first tattoo was this one right here, and it say Baltimore, and it got like the skyline. All right, so Baltimore, and then you got like the skyline in the back. You got the inner harbor, and all this, you know. You know the skyline, right? Skyline for, your, for the city. And then my second one was, I'm gonna have to just show you. So, it's this one right here, I'm gonna have another video like right here. I'm gonna just show y'all right now like this Boom. and then my third tattoo was this one right here and hold on quick pause hold on quick pause on it somebody go in the comments pause the video right now go in the comments and tell me what, what this says all right so this says I will fear no evil. And the way my taxi artist did it, we uh, came up with a plan. I didn't really want it like 
easily like you just look at me and I wanted people to have to ask me like what it say because when you look at me you don't really know what it say like that like it's just I don't know I like it and then I made sure that it's actually I got a touch up done to it because it used to not have the black outline around it where I couldn't really read what it said but and I got it in the colors of uh I don't know like flames or whatever so in my next tattoo which is my most recent one Stand on something. <sighs> okay, so it's this one right here. And this one is David and Goliath. So if you could tell, like, this is Goliath's leg, and David is standing on him. That's his decapitated head, well, body, and a sword. And he's holding his decapitated head. So. As you can tell, like my um, most of my tattoos are like pretty, like I guess you would say, like religious. So, so yeah, but I feel like, and all of mine are pretty much like battles, like, like with the tattoo I have right here on my forearm, that's of Michael killing the killing the devil. So it's like a battle, and then I got David and Goliath with battles. I feel like. I don't know, I feel like in life, like you just get tested a lot, so you gotta overcome a lot of stuff. So I feel like life is like a battle. Like it's a it's a constant battle between being good and being bad and just like the choices that you make. So that's that's pretty much the gist of my tattoos. I'm gonna be getting a lot more. Sorry, my my mother don't like me getting all these but my grandma really don't like it, but yeah, I told her I wouldn't get my hands on my neck and all that stuff, so and I know y'all wanna know like where the where the like if it hurt or not like that. So I can tell you right here, bro. Right chill. Like all up in here. Bro. Man. That and then like down here kinda hurt. But pretty much everything else was it was like it was whatever. Cause the thing is with tattoos, man, when they start, it really when it start it hurt. Cause your body like going, I don't know, it was like going shock or something like that, but it kinda hurt. But as it go on, you know what I mean, it's like it mellow out until they got put that highlight in there. When they put that that white, and then mind you, I'm light skinned, so they really gotta put like a whole lot of white ink in my skin for it to show. Oh god, man, I be in that joint wanting to kill my tattoo. Oh, it be hurting. And I would say tattoos are very addictive because I don't know. It's like once I got my first tattoo, I was like, yo, I don't I don't like this extra space, like this empty space, like I gotta fill it in. Like, so now like, when I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do with my elbow, it's like, yo, what, what am I gonna do? Like, I can't keep living like this. You know, I ain't got no ink. I gotta, I gotta get the ink. I, I need the ink. So that's how I feel. But I love tattoos and it's contorting. I mean, and as a wholesome, I love tattoos. And I would recommend you, you getting a tattoo, uh, but get something that fits you. Don't go get like some AK-47 like on the back of your neck or something like that just because you can. Or, you know what I mean, like, get something that you actually think about your tattoos. Don't just go, I want to get tatted and just put stars and all type of six nines and don't do all that. Alright, just, you know, think about your tattoo. Do it, think about do it match you. Think about do you want it on your body for the rest of your life. Because I know that laser hurt if you want to get it removed. But um, I appreciate y'all tuning in this video. It's been a quick video. Just to keep y'all updated on me and what's going on with me. And I pray y'all have a blessed day. Hope y'all stay official and keep it official like a referee with a whistle. Let's get Let me, um, for y'all that stay watching, let me show y'all the view. <laughs> Hold on, bro. We thugging. We thugging in here. Look. <laughs> On an ironing board with it. Yeah. We'd turn anything to a studio. Because that's how we do it, yo.